we need to update our layout so that it includes a navigation bar at the top. And that involves a lot of coding. So what we're going to do is take the navigation bar from our detective agency, which has everything in it that we need, and we're going to copy that over into future value. So to do that, all I'm going to do is left drag the file right into shared and release. And then, yes, I do want to replace it. And then I'm going to open it up over here in future value, and I'm going to customize it. Because obviously uh, it says detective agency, and I want it to say future value. And here it also says detective agency, and I want it to say future value. And then kind of looking through here, another change we need to make is that we did not include authentication in future value. Detective agency has it. So it's actually pulling in a uh, partial view here. And this login partial view includes the register and login commands that display on the navigation bar. We don't have that, so we have to delete it. And then down at the bottom, we are going to change this to future value. And again, we did not include the authentication, so there is no privacy page. So let's delete that too. Then as far as our links go, we only have three. So we're going to get rid of three. And then we're going to change the ones that are there so that they match our app. And so for this first one, Instead of going to the index action method, we want to have it go to about. And then for our second one, this is going to go to index. And for the text that displays in the menu, we want calculate future value. And then for the third one, that is going to go to contact. Now, all three are in the home controller. And we don't have a, this is not a large corporation. So we don't have separate areas where we have controllers and uh, models and views. So, Area is blank, that's fine. We don't have a separate area. Um, we have everything in the home controller at this point, and we have specified our action methods. So those are the only changes that we need to make. So at this point, we're going to save and go ahead and run your app. Come over here. And that looks good. Uh, it does look very white <laughs> and plain. Uh, so if you want to fix this or change it, where we would do that is up here uh, in the nav bar. You'll see that, that it's nav bar light with a background of white. So we could change this 
Uh, let's see. Nav bar. Why don't we choose dark and a dark background. Now, it likes to include text to dark down in the links. So dark text on a dark background does not show up. So we need to change this. I'm going to change it to text info, which is that light shade of blue. And now I'm going to save this and let's run it. And that doesn't look quite so plain anymore. Okay, so that change in color is not required. Totally up to you if you want to make it. 